today's video, I will explain to you everything about IUIA or intrauterine insemination, what it is, how it is done, who are the people who benefit from IUI and what is the success rate. So IUI means intrauterine insemination, which means that at the end of the process, we have deposited a good quality sperm directly inside the uterus of the lady. And in a natural process, when a couple is having natural intercourse, at the end of intercourse, sperm is deposited in the upper part of the vagina. Which means that from here, the sperm has to swim through the mouth of the uterus, which is the cervix, which acts like a gate into the uterus and from the uterus into the fallopian tube where it normally meets the egg and fertilizes it. And at the end of IUI, the sperm is deposited directly inside the uterus. It does not have to cross the mouth of the uterus or the cervix. So who are the people who will benefit from IUI? The most important group of patients is the couple with unexplained infertility. A couple is said to have unexplained infertility if everything about the couple is normal but still they are not conceiving. If the husband's sperm report is fine, if the wife is ovulating every month, if her tubes are open, all her hormones are normal and yet they are not getting pregnant despite having unprotected intercourse for more than a year, then it is said that this couple has unexplained infertility. The second group of patients who benefit from IUI are those whose men have got slightly weak sperm. The sperm might not be moving very well, it might not be very good to look at or it might not be a little less in count. But we cannot do IUI with sperm which is very poor in quality or quantity. It has to be somewhere in between, like not good for natural pregnancy, but not so bad that it would require IVF with ICSI. Then we can also do IUI for women who have got hostile cervical mucus, which means the mouth of the uterus is making such mucus that it is not allowing the sperm to pass through. It is killing all the sperm and no sperm is able to enter the uterus and the woman is therefore not getting pregnant. We can also do IUI to increase the chances of pregnancy in women who have started trying after late marriages to increase their chances of pregnancy or in women who have undergone surgery like endometriotic surgery or other surgeries so as to increase their chances of getting pregnant. So what is the success of IUI and how is it better than trying naturally? In each natural cycle, when a couple is trying each month, chances of getting pregnant are only 6%. That does sound very low, but it is of course quite decent. But when we do IUI, the chances of getting pregnant increase up to 13 to 17 to 18%. So it is at least two to three times of what it would be during a natural cycle. So this is the success of IUI. Now, how is IUI done? IUI can, done, it can be done in a natural cycle in which the lady is making one egg or it can be done in a slightly stimulated cycle in which we may give medicines or injections to make two to three eggs, thereby increasing the chances of the pregnancy. So we monitor the progress of the egg and in 10 to 15 days normally the egg is ready. Once the egg is ready, we need to give an HCG trigger to ensure ovulation and between 24 to 48 hours after the trigger of ovulation, IUI is done. So the couple is called to the hospital where the husband needs to give his sperm sample and the sample is prepared by the embryologist and all the dead and poor sperm are removed and the better sperm are separate and they are suspended in a very nutritious liquid and then this very little amount of liquid is put inside the woman's uterus by a very thin catheter. This process is normally done under ultrasound guidance because it allows the doctor to see exactly where she is putting the sperm sample. And also, just to put all your hearts at ease, this process does not hurt at all. The process of IUI is nearly similar to getting an ultrasound done. After the IUI, the lady is allowed to go home where she can resume her normal day-to-day -day activity. And 15 days after an IUI, the result is to check whether we have been successful or not. From me to you, all the best of success for your IUI. I am Dr. Richa Katyar, Director at Hope Fertility, New Delhi.